South Korea's homegrown KF-21 Burami fighter jet flew for the first time. The prototype jet took a 33-minute round-trip flight from an Air Force base in the southern city of Sejong, said South Korea's Defense Acquisition Program Administration DIPA. A total of 120 jets are expected to be delivered to the South Korean Air Force by 2030. The jet is the first of a fleet of six KF-21 prototypes made by Korea Aerospace Industries that will conduct more than 2,000 test flights from now until 2026, when mass production and deployment will begin, Dapa said. Once operational, the KF-21 is expected to be armed with a range of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles, and possibly even air-launched cruise missiles. The twin-engine fighters will come in single and two-seat versions. South Korean President Jun suk jul said the test flight was a splendid achievement in national defense independence. The KF-21 is a joint project between South Korea and Indonesia in which Seoul holds 80% of shares, while only 65% of the KF-21's parts are of South Korean origin. Its maiden flight still marks a significant achievement for a country that doesn't have a lengthy history of aircraft production. Peter Layton, a fellow at the Griffith Asia Institute in Australia, on Wednesday called the KF-21's flight an impressive milestone. The program has significantly enhanced South Korean aerospace capabilities, particularly in design, manufacture, airframe components, and avionic systems, said Layton, a former Royal Australian Air Force officer. That's it for today. Thank you and see you in the next videos.